my beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel and to another Meghan Markle makeup tutorial. This time I am using all drugstore products. Everything I've used on my face is super affordable from the drugstore and honestly these products are amazing. If you do want to see my other Meghan Markle makeup looks I'll pop all of them down below so you can check them out. If you want to see how to recreate this coral look then just keep on watching. My Meghan Markle hairdo is done. <laughs> I never ever ever wear my hair like this. I feel like it looks very posh. Um, okay, first of all, let's moisturize. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. Never tried this before, and I haven't really tried a lot of products from e.l.f. I've heard really good things, so let's put this on. It's quite a thick cream, but hydration is what we want. Megan's skin always looks really hydrated and glowing and dewy, so oh, that's really nice. Smells really nice as well. And then gonna take a little bit of this, the NYX Honey Dew Me Up. Um, I'm gonna use this as my primer. This really reminds me of the YSL. Um, it's the blur primer. It really reminds me of that. So I'm just gonna pop that on the skin. Oh, it smells so nice and fresh. And don't mind this. I burnt my face with the hair tom and I'm really really hoping it does not scar. I need like a good scar cream because if that scars I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> the best foundation out there at the drugstore is this one which is the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I have used this for years and years and absolutely love it. Um, I kind of change between what shade I am. This one is beige but depending on um, yeah, if I get more tanned or during the winter, I do change up my color a little bit because I have got a really good selection of colors. But this one is the one I'm using at the minute. I'm just going to take a sponge to apply that. That is probably a little bit light for me actually at the minute, but we can we can deepen that up. Really, really good glowy, dewy foundation if you don't want like crazy coverage, but you just want like a medium to full coverage and a glow. This is a really nice foundation. Now onto concealer, best drugstore concealer ever. This is the Bourjois Radiance Reveal. Love this concealer so much. It's a really, really nice consistency and it's perfect if you really want to brighten the under eyes but you don't want it to look too cakey, too heavy. It's quite a glowy light um, concealer. This is a shade of beige as well. Kind of brightening up everywhere. I've got loads of breakouts at the minute. It's definitely that time. Um, but yeah, apparently cheeks is stress. Chin is hormones, which to be honest, go hand in hand, don't they? <laughs> How is everybody's February going? Let me know what you've been up to in the comments below. So you know, I said that I wanted to move more. I think going to yoga classes and dance classes. I, I'm really, really proud of myself. <laughs> I just forgot how much I love dancing. Like for that hour and a half that I was at that dance class, I thought about nothing else except from dance. Let's bronze up a bit because Megan is looking super, super bronzed um, in these pictures. So this is from Rimmel. It's the Insta Duo Contour Stick. So I'm going to cream contour before I powder contour just because, yeah, Megan is super contoured, which I am living for. I do really like this contour stick. And then I'm just taking the pout end, kind of going in between those lines. It's a really nice formula, this. Okay, now we're just going to powder everywhere. I'm going to use new brushes from Real Techniques. They're actually the same brushes. They've just had like um, a little refresh of the packaging. So this is probably one of my favorite all time brushes from Real Techniques that I got all my friends hooked on, um, which is the powder brush. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice like corally rose gold packaging now, uh, which is beautiful. I'm gonna take this Rimmel Insta Fix Matte Translucent Powder. This is so good. Love this powder. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath the eyes, middle of the forehead. And when you just forget how much you love certain products, like all of these products I've used so far, I'm like, oh, 
I love this, I love this. I should definitely use it more. I'm gonna now bronze up a little bit. And um, this is the Nip and Fab bronzer palette, which I love. I'm taking a really big brush. Let's see how this goes. I'm kind of dipping into both of those shades. Um, but where Megan is royalty, she doesn't want like a harsh contour line. So we are just kind of giving the hollows of our cheeks a little dusting over. Nip and Fab's powders are just, you just can't beat them. They're so blooming good. I'm gonna leave the base to kind of just melt into my face. Um, let's do a little bit of brows. This is the Anyway Brow Define Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. Really good if you kind of wanna really define the brow strokes. The spoolie on this end as well is so, so good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of brush them up. Megan's got quite full brows and we don't want them too defined. We're definitely not going for like an Instagram brow. Definitely a lot more natural, just taking strokes through the hairs. And then even after you're done, just kind of go back over it to really feather that line out. And then to go over it, to just really make it fluffy. I'm gonna take as much product as I can off of this because a little bit does go a really long way. Um, but this is the Soap and Glory Volley Boost Brow Fiber Gel. So it's got fibers in the gel. It's really good at getting that more fluffier effect. Brows are now done. So we know that Megan loves to use like an eyeshadow stick. I haven't found a drugstore eyeshadow stick that I am in love with yet. So for now, we're gonna use these, which are cream eyeshadows, super, super easy to use. And um, this one is from Collection, it's the Glam Crystals Liquid Eyeshadow in MV. And I'm literally just gonna apply this with my finger, just pop it on. Again, you just kind of want to use that a little bit at a time because it does go quite a long way, but cream eyeshadows are just the easiest way to do your makeup. I'm just popping this shade like on the inner corner through to the middle. And then I'm taking this one, which is a little bit darker um, from Barry M. This is the Crushed Jewel Cream Eyeshadow in Dreamcatcher. Just take a little bit of this. You can see with Megan's eyes, they are a little bit shimmery. So this is just the perfect eyeshadow to recreate that look because it has got little flecks of shimmer in it. I'm just gonna take an angled brush and we're gonna take a little bit on the lower lash line here. It does surprise me that Megan does this because it is quite dramatic, especially for like a day look, but I absolutely love it. I feel like putting shadow on the lower lash line just gives you so much more definition i just feel more done when i've got shadow on my lower lash line there are rumors that megan does her own makeup if she does oh my god can you even imagine if she done a tutorial <laughs> that would be amazing okay cool i'm just going to touch up a little bit with some concealer now for the mascara i did actually have a light coat of this on so i'm just going to add a second coat of this new baby which yeah i've been loving and wearing loads um rimmel wonder luxe volume mascara i love rimmel mascaras this is a really really nice wand you've got to be careful with how much product you've got on the brush because it can clump a little bit if you've got too much on there but if you've got the right amount it's just Perfect. Uh, Megan loves a coal liner in her waterline. So this one is from Collection. It's the eye definer in brown. I actually just went to Superdrug and picked this up because what I love about this the most is that it is retractable. With eyeliners, with lip liners, I am the worst at remembering to sharpen them. Is anyone else like me? Because I'm just the worst. So if it's retractable like this, it's it's a winner for me. And this is a really, really good shade. It's a lovely deep brown. So I'm just popping that on the waterline here, but then also you wanna take it, which is called tight lining, um, on the upper. It's a bit uncomfortable to do, but it makes such a difference to the eyes. Oh, honestly, the face is up all when I'm doing my eyeliner. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to a little bit of blush. We're going for corally vibes. How amazing is this? And um, from Nip and Fab, this is Electric Apricot. 
beautiful colour. I know it looks crazy now, but we're gonna blend that out. Um, you can really build this colour up. It just gives a nice corally peachy kiss to the cheeks. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. And then we're gonna go in for highlight. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Glow Mon Amour Highlighting Drops. Megan's highlight looks really like a, a champagne colour, so this looks perfect. This is called Sparkling Love, and it is quite a blinding highlight that she's rocking, so we're gonna go to town with the highlight drop. I forgot how good these drops were. They blend beautifully. Look at that glow. Even that out with a little bit of bronzer again. I love doing with makeup is just like building up. If you put too much on in the first go, it's just not going to look right and it's harder to take it away. If you just keep building it up, you can get a really gorgeous effect. This is a tip that I picked up from a makeup masterclass I went to the other day and it looks like Megan has done the same in these photos. I'll put a picture here so you can see the glow and the shine on the side of her nose. So for Megan, she's having pictures taken at all different angles. A makeup artist told me to highlight the edge of your nose, just the side of the nose here. So when you pose for a photo like that, it's gonna catch the light. You don't wanna go too overboard. You don't wanna really shine your nose, but just a little bit of glow. It's just a nice little trick. <laughs> now, of course, not forgetting the famous Megan Freckles. So I'm gonna take the same eyebrow pencil that I used earlier. This is perfect. Can you see already? They are really defined little freckles. So I'm just popping them all over. Do not worry if you go if you're doing like what I'm doing, you're like, oh my god, this looks terrible. Just keep going. And then all you're gonna do is press the freckles into the skin. If you don't do this, it's gonna look so fake. But if you press it in, you will not know that these are fake. See how subtle that looks? So you can keep going, keep really building them up. It's the first time I've used this eyebrow pencil with freckles and oh my gosh, this is amazing. What's really handy is I have a spot here. Just put a little freckle over it. <laughs> now we're gonna go in for the lip. It's a really, really gorgeous, glossy, corally lip. And I was looking through my collection this is the most perfect color for this look. Now, I can't say I have many products from Max Factor. I love the mascara, um, but I don't really have that many other products. So yeah, this is an unusual pick for me, but honestly, it's the most perfect match. So let's try it on. This is the Honey Lacquer Indulgent Coral. I don't want it to be too strong. I love this color so, so much. I just want to kind of pick out the coral in my cheeks a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this Nip and Fab blusher palette. There's this orange shade here, which is amazing. It doesn't come out that strong, don't worry. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit just to kind of tie the whole look in. Oh my God, that's so nice. I love it, guys. Do I look like Megan now? I love this makeup so much. I don't know if I look like Megan with this makeup. I don't know. I feel like I've looked more like Megan <laughs> in my other videos, but I do really, really love this makeup. And obviously, all affordable, all drugstore. So let me know what you guys think. If there are ever any Meghan Markle makeup looks that you want me to recreate, please just tweet me, Instagram me. Obviously I wanna do videos that you guys enjoy. So please let me know what you'd like me to film next. If you did enjoy this video, please like and comment below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.